Uh, uh, what hey, up? Uh, what's up? So we've been making a lot of money this year. Oh That's yeah. Good. Oh yeah. But we're scared of money, man. Terrified. We feel like the more money you make, the more you start to transform into an evil white dude, man. <laughs> oh, it's happening, man. It's happening. Yeah. Two weeks ago, we got paid and went to IHOP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the waitress sat us down, took our order. I ordered the pancakes, because that's how I roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he ordered the waffles, because that's how he rolls. Yep. Waitress went back, came back with our order. She gave me the waffles, and she gave him the pancakes. <laughs> that's disrespectful, man. So we had to do something as evil white dudes. We couldn't let it slide. No, man, evil white dudes don't let anything slide. So we just knocked everything onto the ground. <laughs> Stood up, fired her on the spot. Yep. <laughs> Walked out of that IHOP like Kevin Spacey in House of Cards. <laughs> or Seven. Or Usual Suspects. <laughs> Kevin Spacey plays a lot of evil white dudes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's sort of like the Michael Jordan of playing evil white dudes. Absolutely. What I would say. High caliber, yeah. Speaking of Michael Jordan, I feel like Michael Jordan must have had a tough time selling Space Jam to Charles Barkley, man. Absolutely. He had to come off as a douchebag. We've been trying to spend the last 25 years trying to figure out how he did this. He's yeah. been plaguing us. This is how we envisioned the conversation went. He's going to play Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be Charles Barkley. Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hello? Who's this? It's uh, me, man. It's Michael Jordan, yo. <laughs> what up, Mike, man? How's it going, man? How's baseball going? <laughs> I don't really want to talk about that right, right now. Okay. Right. That's cool. That's cool. We'll talk about that. What's up, man? What'd you call me for? So I got this movie idea, yo. Uh, I mean, I want you to be in it. Oh, worry, Mike. Yeah. Thanks for thinking about it, man. What's the movie about? Well, I mean, it's a basketball story, more or less. Okay, uh, okay. You know, we got two teams. Uh, on your team, it's going to be uh, Muggsy Bowles, Sean Bradley, Larry Johnson, and Patrick Ewan. Dope team. That's Sick a formidable team, team Mike. Yeah. I like that team, man. Yeah. Who's going to be in your team, Mike? <laughs> Daffy Duck. Is that like a nickname for Scottie Pippen mm. or? No, 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 Looney Tunes. And we're going to have Bugs Bunny and Tasmanian Devil. I was trying to get Mickey Mouse. Oh, hold somebody. on, Mike, hold on, Mike. I got another call on the line, man. I'll, I'll get back to you. OK. Right. Hey, what's up, man? Who's this? Shaquille O'Neal, baby. What's up? Oh, what up, Shaq, man? I was just talking to Mike, man. I think he's on LSD or oh, something. Oh, really? Huh? <laughs> he had this weird thing. What's up, man? What you call me for? So I got this movie idea, yo. Two right. words, rapping genie. <laughs> hey, Mike. What's up? I'm in for Space Jam. All right, all right. I'm in, all right. It's I'm cool. In. All right, I'm in. All right, I'm in. Okay. All right. Got it. Here's a little known fact about the Lucas Bros. Our father went to prison for 20 years in the state of New Jersey. And we don't know what he did. We don't know what he did. We are trying to figure it out. We went to a public library. We found out in order to get 20 years in Jersey, you can do one of four things. You can commit first-degree murder, second-degree murder, child molestation, or tax evasion. So we immediately got rid of tax evasion. That was gone. <laughs> Wasn't really a real option. Not we just option. had to put it up there. Yeah. So that left us with three options. Shitty options. Terrible <laughs> options. But I feel like this might be the only situation where you want your father to be a murderer, right? <laughs> Right? <laughs> because the only situation. <laughs> we pray to Steve Harvey every night for it. <laughs> so we filmed uh, 22 Jump Street in New Orleans, and <laughs> yeah. the movie was great, but the New Orleans kind of went. You want to explain Our what happened? My friend told us to experience New Orleans, you know, try to get ourselves out there and do as much as possible to get that actual New Orleans experience. So the first week, we. Uh, Went to the French Quarter, traveled around, had a good time. 
And then the second week, we got robbed. I think that's the full New Orleans experience. <laughs> yeah, well, right? absolutely. Full, we got it. We got, we got the full. But it was a strange robbery, man, because we'll let you know what happened. We were walking on Bourbon Street. Dude popped out of nowhere and just pointed a gun at us. That's when we knew it was a robbery. Yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah. that's a gun. When the guns come out. That's, that's how robberies start. Yeah. But he froze for a little bit, pointed the gun at him, and then pointed it at me, and then pointed it at him, and then pointed it at me, and then pointed it at him, and then pointed it at me, stopped. And he was like, oh, snap, you guys are twins? <laughs> can't rob twins? I got twins in my family, I can't do that. Now, we didn't question his logic. No. Uh, we, we didn't want to do that. But we had a gun like in we, our face. He had weird. a gun in our face. We didn't want to, we felt like we had to relate to him. We had to say something, because, you know, he was, he was a dope robber. He ain't robbers. So, like, you got twins in your family. We got criminals in our family. Let's be friends. All right, that's it. That's it. <laughs>